We're down here in Detroit checking with team number 1684, the Chimeras. I'm sure I'm not going to say that right because there's a million different ways to say that. But I'm here with uh, Gavin and Trista. We're going to check out more about the robot behind the bumpers. This is the Traverse City uh, winner in the FIM district. They also were finalists in your division at MSC. Uh, so, Gavin, we're going to start out here first, talk about some of the front of the robot, the intake. Show us what's going on with this. So we have a uh, flex wheel hatch intake that basically you can just suck the hatches on as soon as it touches it. Uh, Trista can demonstrate here in a sec. So we spin the wheels and it uh, grabs the hatches just like that. We barely have to touch it. Um, it's self-centering. We can grab at about a 45 degree angle so it doesn't have to be anywhere near. Uh, go ahead and grab it, Trista. Uh, it doesn't have to be anywhere near straight on. So go ahead and put out like a 45. Grabs it even when it's offset. Um, that's about it. So uh, on this as well too, obviously a very neat aesthetic design, which we'll talk about a little bit because there's some inspiration. Uh, but Trista, I want you to talk about uh, some of this elevator mechanism. Obviously looks really cool, functions really well. What do you want to tell us about that? Um, so for this elevator, we use uh, carbon fiber tubing um, on it to make it lighter, and it's also durable, and a constant force spring. We have just different stages made out of mostly plastic and aluminum. Uh, and we have pre-programmed stages for each uh, part of the rocket and the cargo ship. Let's wrap up here. This robot kind of reminds me of something a little bit. Uh, and uh, you're telling me that you got some inspiration from a legendary team down south. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, where this inspiration came from and how you came up with that. So uh, this is inspired by 148's uh, 2018 elevator. Uh, during the off season, we had a mentor uh, actually acquire their practice spots elevator from their sheet metal giveaway. We tore that apart during off season and kind of reverse engineered it and figured out a way to make a similar elevator with the same concept out of uh, VEX parts. I mean, that's a really cool concept to say, hey, we're going to take something and do that reverse engineering and learn a lot from it as well, too. Uh, so very cool stuff. 1684, thanks for uh, showing us off your robot. Love to see it. Obviously, a cool aesthetic robot and a great functional robot as well. Good luck the rest of the time here in Detroit. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.